All right, so I'm gonna give you a little tour of the van, the interior, exterior, and uh, all the features and everything. Um, so approaching the van, um, you have these little cubbies. You can fit shoes in, you know, a portable shower, whatever you need to. It's a nice, nice little size cubbies you got in here. Um, walking up, we installed this little carpeting area. Um, so it's like, kind of like a welcome mat, you wipe off your feet before you know, getting in the van. Uh, and we got these nice peel and stick wood floors, uh, kind of grayish, dark grayish, black themed. Uh, so walking into the van, we have the full kitchen. So what we got is a sink with running water. Um, unfortunately, I do not have water in the water tank, but I'll show you how it works. Is you got a pump right here. So you just turn on the pump and then you turn on, you make sure the pump's still running. I'm not gonna run it because there's no water. Um, then you just turn the faucet on and it works. Um, also here, we got the lights, light switch. So that turns on the lights, the LED lights that surround the whole, whole van. Um, as you can see, they just turn right on and off. Those are connected to the battery system that I have. So it's also connected to the solar. Uh, here we got the uh, propane uh, stove, stove top. Um, this thing is secure. This thing will not move. We actually drilled it into the base of this just so it won't move. It's just stuck in there. Uh, how it works is you have the, the little hose right here that I actually have on the side that's also included. Um, you connect it to that. And then we have the propane tanks actually on the side. You can fit five propane tanks in this little cubby. So you just go ahead and screw the hose on, turn on the gas grill, and you got yourself a grill, a nice heat source. And also, uh, you got a nice window. You know, you're cooking breakfast, you got morning views of mountains or wherever you're at. There's also a curtain rod, so you can hang up a curtain, um, you know, for a night. You don't want people looking in here. So, you know, we got a nice little curtain rod. This window also opens up. I'm going to have to demonstrate that. You just open up the window. You can let it aerate while you're cooking. Um, also, the fan does a good job at that. Um, under the sink, the sink has a drainage tank. So under here, the, the, the tank or the water will drain into this tank. This is secure with, with bungee cords. This thing is not moving. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty, pretty tight in there. So you just, you know, remove the bungee cord. Once it's full, empty it out, put it back in place. Uh, next tour, we have a nice amount of counter space or cabinet space, sorry. You can fit like tubs of food, you know, rice, whatever you need in there. Uh, good amount of counter space. You know, you can put a, you know, cut, cut, cut whatever you need on here. Uh, this is actually laminate, so you might not want to cut onto the laminate, but you know, get a little uh, cutting board or something. Um, here, you can put, you know, whatever you want, pictures. I mean, I would utilize the space. You could put, um, you know, like a spice rack or something here. I'll make it look nice. You know, you got a windowsill, so you could put, you could drill actually little, little potted plants in here. It might make it look cool. Um, here, we got the mini fridge. This is connected to the battery system, so it's constantly running. Uh, it's actually on right now. It's pretty cold, as you can see. All right, and over here for storage, we also have a huge uh, drawer. So with this drawer, you know, you could put a, um, we were thinking you could put a um, cooler in here, like a Yeti cooler or something, so you could deep freeze any type of food you have um, that won't fit in the, the uh, mini fridge, or I mean, whatever you want. This could be your, um, your cupboard. Um, we also have a good bookshelf here. That could be a bookshelf. It could be your electronic shelf. You know, you got the charging port right next to it, so there's six six prong charging port. Um, you know, you could put your, you could charge your phone, put it right in this little cubby. You could put your camera in this cubby, have it charging, uh, whatever you really need. You also have, you know, you can put your shoes at the bottom, um, whatever you need. So this is the bed. It's probably about a queen size. You could fit about three people or two people and a dog, or maybe even three people and a dog, depending on your size. Um, you might, if you're tall, you want to sleep, you know, facing towards the, the front of the van, just because the bed is kind of short long ways. Um, but during the day, you can, you know, you can sit, you could sit up and read and look at the, the views that you have at the back of the van. Um, let's see, yeah, so what else we got? We got the fan. So the fan is connected directly to the solar and the fan, uh, the, I'm sorry, the, uh, battery system as well. Uh, this fan closes up, opens, closes, it blows in and out. So if you're cooking and you, you know, you, you, it's getting a little stuffy in here with the stuff, you just open this, or if you, you know, have the doors open, have the window open, this will suck all the air out, the smoke and stuff. But it also pulls air in, 
you just press the reverse button and it'll pull air, air in and make it nice and cool in here uh, when you're sleeping. Um, what else? So, yeah, that seems to be it. That's the interior of uh, this part of the van. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead to the back and show you the back of the van. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, we put nice paneling on the top. We got crown molding around that covers up the uh, LED lights. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's the interior. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the back and the storage space. Um, oh, actually got this actually has a latch. So you have access to everything under the bed. So there's the water tank. So once your water's getting low, you can actually put a hose, come in, bring in a hose, or if you're really desperate, you can get uh, you know, some gallons of um, Zephyr Hills water or something from a uh, you know, grocery store and just pour it in here. And uh, there's your pump. You got your pump, you have access to all this stuff. That's why I did the little trap door, you know, so you can access everything. Uh, yeah, so that's the interior. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the storage space underneath as well as the solar system and then the exterior. All right, so now I'm gonna give you another tour of the, uh, of the storage space and the, the solar system and all that. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and give you a tour of that now. Um, so here you, you walk up, you got another little cubby. We're throwing in this nice portable toilet included with uh, six bags, six disposable bags. Uh, so that fits nice and snug right in there. Um, we haven't built it yet. We're also building a cubby right here where you can fit whatever you want. It'll be actually a pretty big cubby. It'll fit snug with this, um, this bin right here. And we'll also haven't installed it yet, but this will have a clothesline right here. It's a retractable clothesline. So this pulls out. I can't really show you because I only got two hands. But this pulls out. It'll connect to this side and you'll have a little clothesline for your clothes. You know, when you're out, out off the grid for a while, you can, you know, dry your clothes out. Um, under here, you got a massive storage space. You could fit easily probably three bins, four bins under here, depending on the size of the bins. Um, clothes, you know, camping gear, whatever you need under here. Um, here is the solar system. So I have two deep, deep charged solar, solar batteries under here. So there's a, um, these will be constantly charging. It's two of them. So you'll have power for a good amount of time. Here is the solar, um, uh, sorry, the solar charge controller. So what this does is it regulates what energy is coming to the battery so the batteries don't overload as well. It, it just regulates the energy. Um, it has a nice, um, you know, little remote on there with uh, displays of how charged the battery is. As you can tell, it's fully charged. It's constantly fully charged. I mean, you'll, you can be off the grid and have crappy weather for probably four days and you'll still have power. Um, so back there, as you can see, is the water tank. Um, here we have the uh, Whistler 1200 watt inverter um, that's plugged in there. Um, that, like I said, regulates, that also regulates the energy um, that's connected to the fridge. That, that just regulates the energy from the battery to the, um, sorry, to the, uh, to the inverter, to all the things that it's connected to. Um, so that, that's, a, that's a good amount of storage space. Like I said, we'll also build a cubby here. You'll have the clothesline. There's the bed again. Um, gives you a good amount of room, headspace, and all that. Um, again, a lot of people worried about that, but honestly, this is this is a lot of this is about two feet right here, so you're pretty good. Um, yeah, so that's the back of the van. Um, uh, yeah, that's all I got. All right, now I'm going to show you the driving, um, the I would say the cockpit, I guess, um, of the van. We didn't update really anything in here. Um, it's just your basic, you know, uh, 40 Econoline van. It's it's real basic. It's got the roll-up windows, roll-down windows. Um, no power lock system, unfortunately. We just kept it as it is. We hope whoever's buying it is buying it for the for that part of it, and not this part. This is just for driving. Um, we did install a nice head unit, so you can get Bluetooth. You can get um, you have a USB port. You have an auxiliary port, um, CD, all that. I'll go ahead and turn it on the van so you can see that it starts. It starts up right away. It's got 40,000 original miles. This is, this is 2006. It's got 40,000 original miles. All the gauges work, everything works. Go ahead and rev that for you. It sounds nice. AC's blowing cold. Uh, yeah, so that's just your basic basic van horn works. Um, like I said, this, this charge you can put on your iPhone. Everything works. 
yeah, so that's this part of the van. Um, nothing really special. Oh, you got storage right here. For some reason, you have four cup holders, even though there's only two, uh, two passenger seats, which I don't really understand. But um, there's no glove box, which is weird. But uh, I guess this kind of acts as your little glove box. Um, as you can see, we just installed that head unit. There's still a little wiring and pieces like that. Um, but yeah, that's the that's the front of the van. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and show you the exterior and all the little dings and scratches that it has. Um, but yeah, that's that. All right, so now I'm gonna show you the exterior of the van, show you all the little dings and scratches. Um, I mean, it is a 2006, so there is some wear and tear, as I said. Um, there was water in these headlights, so I replaced them completely. They work fine. I mean, it's it's they're perfect headlights, um, brand brand new. Haven't even driven with them actually. We just installed them two days ago. Um, here's a little little scuff marks and stuff. This will come right out. I haven't really cleaned the van, but uh, this will come right out. Um, yeah, so that's the front of the van. I'll come over on this side. This is the worst side of it. Um, as you can see, there's little scuff marks and stuff. This can be cleaned out. Um, this is the big one, big scratch. Um, yeah, so when I bought the van, I bought it from a church. Not really sure how this happened. Never really asked. Didn't really care because I thought I would be keeping this van. Um, I hope whoever's buying it is not buying it for this. I mean, if anything, you can paint, you can make a cool collage on here if your art's artistic. Uh, you can cover it up with that. Otherwise, I mean, I think it adds character. So it's just a scar. Um, I mean, if you really care about the, the appearance of this, then maybe this van isn't for you. But I mean, I, like I said, I hope whoever's buying this is buying it for the interior, not for the for the crappy exterior. Um, but yeah, so I got a quote from Mako to fix this and also give it a whole new paint job. Uh, they quoted me at $2,500. They said they will stay true to that quote if you are interested in buying the van. Um, they will stay true to that quote and uh, and you know fix it for you. Uh, I'm not interested in that. Like I said, I hope whoever's buying it buys it for the inside, not for this. Um, there's a little scuff mark here. This isn't a scuff mark. This is actually a scratch. Um, that's included in the 2500 as well. Here, there's a little dent. It's an inwards dent. Um, so this is the. Yeah, this is the van. Um, like I said, this did come from a church, so you can kind of see on the back it says Stonegate Baptist. Um, included with the Mako quote, they will do a paint job um, to actually try to match the vinyl that I put on the windows um, as well as possible. Uh, this is the other side. There's not too many dings on this side. You know, there's little, little scratches and stuff like that, but nothing too crazy, not like the other side. Um, I got the windows tinted. I got this one tinted. This one I did not get tinted because I like to keep it clear, you know, for the, for the nice views. You could put a, um, uh, you know, a curtain over that, you know, if it's too dark or too light. I did get this window tinted, this window tinted, and this window tinted as well. Um, but yeah, that's the van. I will put on hubcaps before I sell it. So whoever buys it, don't worry. That hubcap will be replaced. I mean, will be replenished. I should say. Um, but yeah, that's the van. Um, I'll show you the engine and how it starts up and everything. Um, just so you know, it's it's not a piece of junk. It does run. It runs perfectly. Um, it's 40,000 miles, 2006. It's a perfectly mechanical van, just, just some things on the back. Um, but yeah, that's it. All right, so I'm just gonna give you a quick video of the, the engine. Um, for all those mechanical types out there, just to show you that it runs and smooth, it sounds well. Um, that's the engine. It's just be a quick video. I don't really know much about the mechanical side of it. That's my buddy's job. But um, yeah, this is the mechanical side of it. Um, everything's working fine. Fluids up to up to up to par. Just actually did a radiator flush. Um, we had to um, remove the exterior or the I'm sorry the um, rear. AC unit in the back. Um, so with that, we had to uh, remove a radiator line. So that required a radiator flush, which we did. Brand new radiator fluid in there. Uh, yeah, everything else runs fine. Um, like I said, it's a 2006, 40,000 miles on it. 40,000 original miles. Carfax clean, everything's clean. Um, yeah, so that's my van. Okay, so I almost, I almost forgot the most important part of this van. I think it's the most important part. I think it's the coolest part. Um, we actually installed a 500 watt solar panel system in the top. So, 500 watts, each panel is 100 watts. All the wiring is a little crazy. It's a little, um, 
a little annoying, but I hope whoever buys it doesn't really give a shit about that because, like I said, I mean, this is a fully functional, sustainable van to live off the grid for a good amount of time. Um, yeah, so that's the system. Didn't want to forget that. Um, all right.